update. This is on filling up water to my sump. Uh, ignore this black hose. I'm just emptying. We keep some 55 gallon drums filled with water during the winter. Put a black trash bag over it to warm it up during the day. Release this here at night. So I'm just emptying all that into my sump. And the sump's pretty full now. I'm doing that for two reasons. One, to get rid of the water out of the barrels. And two, I had to seal a couple high spots to make sure the seal works. But what this is, is to automate the filling to make it easier for your sump. Now, my total gallons I will have will be about 2,000 gallons of water, all in circulation. So, when I need to fill the water up, you know, depending on, at the most during the summer, maybe 30 to 50 gallons a week, maybe. Okay, 50, okay, even on a really bad 60 gallons a week. I can just use tap water to go in. That little bit of water and the stuff in it isn't going to do nothing for my fish or anything like that. So what I did was I had a water line and I brought it up and I made a new because I used to have the bed here and I had a spigot over there. So I moved the water line over. I raised it up. Let me go back so you can see it. And that valve turns this on and off and I got a Y splitter where you can split it and turn it on and off off there but before that I teed it and I went down and underneath and I valved it here too it goes down comes out here goes down over in and then down you can kind of see it going down there and I'll turn it on it'll be kind of hard to see but uh, you'll get the idea how it feels see there you go. I just turned it on real quick and off. That way when I need to fill it, all I got to do is turn a valve, fill it up, and I'm done. Uh, as much as I can automate it instead of bringing a hose over, doing any of that, as much as I can just make stuff quick later, I'm doing it now. So this is just a quick video on that. And this is, like I said, just buried underneath and some three-quarter inch pipe and some fittings uh, to do that. And, and so I had another spigot on this side. This is a quick video to show you about that, what I did so far.